All right, so you were wondering what it's like to be down in and live in the Pearl District. Well, this video is gonna be 100% about living and playing down in the Pearl District. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Jackson Wilkie. I'm with Next Home Realty Connection. And today, I am down in the heart of the Pearl District. And I'm gonna be talking all about the Pearl, what it's like to be down here, things to do, and what it's like to live down here. So first of all, let's talk about the history of the Pearl. Up until about 20 years ago, this place was an industrial and railroad yard. Now you can find the likes of the Union Station right here in the heart of the Pearl. But the rest of it has been redone and there's some of the best restaurants, foods, condo living, and top five walkability neighborhoods in the United States. Now right now I'm shooting in Tanner Springs Park and that's one of the coolest things about the Pearl. Within every half mile there are some of the most notorious parks. Very cool areas to take, dogs, kids, families, whatever really beautiful little parks that just cover up its past. Now that all the railroad yards are out of the Pearl District, the Union Station is still right here in the center of the Pearl. And by hopping onto the Amtrak, you can head straight north up to Vancouver, Seattle, and even all the way up into British Columbia. Now the Pearl District is known for its variety of uses like art galleries, high scale businesses, and high rise condos. And down here you're easily gonna find a hundred different shops, restaurants, bars, and if you come down here, you gotta go see River Pig Saloon. Well, there's one thing this city does. They pride themselves on picklebacks. Who makes the best pickle brine? You take a shot and then you chase it with the pickle brine. And this has one of the best ones I've ever had. There is so much to do down here. But one of the things that I really enjoy is in the Pearl, there's a sub district called the Brewery Blocks. Now there's some of the most notorious breweries in all of the United States right here in the Pearl. Just like Bridgeport Brewery, the very first craft brewing brewery that there was. Now there's Ten Barrel and Deschutes. There's so many different breweries here and it is so much fun to take the kids, families. They're very family friendly and they usually have some of the best food around. So when my family and I come down here, this is actually one of our favorite spots to come right off of Glisten and 13th. You can kind of see the remnants of the old industrial style buildings, but now are some of the most walked streets in Portland. Now let's talk about something that has just created quite the buzz, and that's called the first Thursdays. So literally, the first Thursday of every month, each month, every year, and this has quickly came to be the must do in Portland. So what you're gonna find is a bunch of local art galleries who open up the doors, showing off their beautiful art. There's live bands, there's so much to do, walk and see, and the best happy hour prices that you will find. It is definitely a must see. Well, we know it's one of the top five walkability cities in the entire nation, but let's talk about living here. It's actually quickly became a place that people wanna be. So it's a little more expensive to live here than a lot of the other areas, but that's because the walkability score is a 97. The biking score, 97. Need to get around and you don't have a bike? They got them here. Nike puts all these bikes out here for you to just rent, you unlock it with an app, and you can take it for a stroll anywhere. And the Max Transit, 87. So if you work down here in the Pearl, you literally don't even need a car. You'd be able to walk to everything or use public transit to get around. And you're also right by all the freeways so that you can actually get out of here pretty quickly. So yes, it's a very high desirable place to live, which has driven up the prices a little bit, but you're gonna get everything you need. So what do you live in here? Well, there's actually no houses in the Pearl District. It's all high-rise condos and lofts and apartments. So that's what you're gonna find down here is really tall high-rises, beautiful condos, and you're not gonna have you know the, the typical houses with yards. But yet again, it's just a place that a lot of people wanna live and it's blowing up. But all in all, the Pearl District is such a great place to be, great place to live, and has some of the best attractions around. So I do a ton of these videos all around Portland, what it's like to live and be in some of the most popular cities in the Portland Metro. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and give me a like. And if you've been to the Pearl, make sure you comment down below of your favorite place to go. And if you have more questions about the Pearl District, comment down below. I'm paying attention regularly, so I'd love to answer those questions for you. So until next time, have an awesome day. Sounds good.